Vincent, we're down at the Bike Cafe in London, or at the TomTom Tom launch. Uh, you're going to talk us through a few of the watches? Yeah, definitely. Hello and uh, good afternoon. Great, so we're here today to, uh, to launch uh, some new, of, uh, new sports watches that we've uh, created. Um, let's start with the uh, TomTom Tom Runner 3. Um, it's the uh, next generation of the uh, running watches. The previous version was the uh, TomTom Tom Runner 2. Um, what we've done this time around is we've really went out there and asked runners, okay, what is it that's important for you in a running watch? Uh, so obviously the things that came back was like building GPS, obviously, building heart rate. Uh, so since we've launched that two years ago, it's really become a feature that people expect in a running watch. They asked for music, which is something we have already. But then we actually found 50 or 60% of the people saying, I want to have a feature on my watch that can help me to find my way back home when I'm running. So you're like, well, you know what, we can do that. Um, so we've built that and it's called root exploration. Um, and the way it works is we've built a compass into the watch. Uh, and because we've got a compass and we've got GPS, we know at each moment where you are and which direction you're headed. So what happens is whenever you start a run or a cycle or anything that uses the GPS, on the watch screen you're going to see a little trace that shows you the, dir the direction that you've been following. Um, an arrow points in the direction that you're currently heading and a little home thing shows you where you've started so you can always find your way back home. So let's say I'm in London today, uh, I'm not really familiar around here, I can just put on my running shoes, I can just go in any direction, enjoy the view and after maybe 5 or 6k I say well I want to find my way back home. I just go to that field, I look where I am and I look how I'm going to go back um, and I can find my way back safely. So really simple um, and you can just run whatever you are and, uh, and no issues. Um, and then we also heard from people, well, actually it would also be cool if I can actually follow a certain route when, I'm, when I am in London for example. So I'm in London, I've heard it's amazing to run through Hyde Park. So what I can do is I can just go onto any website uh, online, uh, I can look for routes that people created, um, I can download that as a GPX file which is a, a standard format. Um, I put it on my computer and through the TomTom Tom My Sports application on my computer I can get that route onto my watch um, and again I can select that route on my watch and then a little line will show me which direction I need to follow to, uh, to, get, to, my, uh, to get to my destination and to follow that specific trail that I've, I've preloaded. Um, so really the reasons why people said that they wanted this feature was like you know people saying well you know what, I love running with music. Um, and when I run with music, I'm not spending attention to where I'm going, so that's why I want this. Um, or people say, well, you know, I, I just don't like running the same route twice. So, you know, I like to go off in all kinds of different directions. Um, and then when the watch tells me how to get my, uh, to, to find my way back home, I don't need to bring my phone anymore because I don't have to rely on Google Maps anymore. So that's great. Um, and it's not only great for running, uh, we've had a lot of positive feedback also from, for example, cyclists who say, well, you know, I want to do a, a 60k loop. Um, I don't want to get home after 40k. I most definitely don't want to get home after 80k. Uh, so something that I can just use to plan my route in advance that shows me with a simple line where I need to go and where I am right now, that's exactly what I want. Uh, so that's what we brought. Uh, it's called Root Exploration. Uh, it comes to all the Spark 3 and all the Runner 3 watches. Um, and the Spark 3 and Runner 3 watches will come in the same variations that we have today with the Spark and Runner range. It means that you can have an entry level watch which only has built in GPS. You can have the version which has GPS and music. You can have the version which has GPS and cardio. Um, and for those who want it all, there's the GPS, cardio and music. Um, We've also created uh, a new pair of headphones. So the previous generation of our watches already came with uh, our own uh, TomTom headphones. We've improved them. So the battery life's gone up from four hours to six hours. Uh, so the chance that you actually finish your marathon without running out of juice on your battery uh, on your headphone has significantly increased. We've uh, replaced the headphone controls. They used to be here on the cable. We've replaced them now they are on the top. So it's much easier to control. Uh, it's got a really stable uh, Bluetooth connection between the watch and the headphones. If you're playing music from your watch, there won't be any interruptions. Um, and of course, it's weather and, uh, and sweat resistant, uh, so that's all, uh, that's all covered. Uh, and those can be purchased together with the watch as a, as a bundle. 
Um, and how, how much you've got? Is it three gigabytes of space? Yeah, three gigabytes of space, uh, storage space. That's about 500 songs. Um, that's a lot of hours of music. Uh, once you've finished that, you've uh, hit your training goals, I would say. Um, so that's the um, that's what we have now on Spark Tree and Runner Tree. Um, we've also got new colors. So this is the new hero color for the Runner Tree, the black and the green. Um, we've also got this quite spectacular color for uh, Runner Tree, uh, so orange and uh, and pink. Um, and then for Spark, we've got two other colors. First one is the uh, traditional black one. And then we also have this aqua color. And you've obviously kept the very familiar navigation button, I don't know if that's what you call it at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's really, um, it's, it's a step up from the previous range, but we really try to keep the most important features that people appreciate about the watches, so a big easy to read screen where you can put the backlight on with just uh, the touch of the palm of your hand um, simple navigation with the, uh, the one button control uh, we kept the, uh, the triple closing mechanism so it's really secure when it's on uh, it's really not gonna fall from your wrist uh, it's also really t easy to, uh, to close uh, the cardio watches still have the built-in cardio sensor here in the back uh, we still use the same technology um, so a lot of things we've kept. What we've done is that we've actually found that a lot of people who have the previous version of Spark are wearing it almost 24-7 because it's got the built-in 24-7 activity tracker, because it's got the sleep tracking, because it actually looks good, uh, people actually wear it 24-7. So we said, okay, with the design of the strap, let's see what we can do to accommodate that even further. Um, so we've made the strap slightly slimmer um, we've added this nice metal uh, accent here. We have changed the material slightly, so it's slightly softer. Um, and we've removed the double row of holes uh, and turned it into a single row of holes to make it slightly more casual. It's still a great, great strap for sports and fitness activities, uh, but at the same time it's become even nicer to wear also uh, during your, uh, your normal everyday activities. And it's also it's got built-in fitness tracker. Yeah, it's got oh, a built-in. Yeah, it's got a built-in fitness tracker. So when you're wearing it, 24/7, it will count your steps. It will count the calories you've burned. It will count the time that you've spent sleeping. All this data is available. You can see it straight from the watch. You can set goals, daily step goals, calorie burns. Uh, you can set goals for active minutes. All that information is right there in the watch. Uh, and of course then afterwards you can link that and upload it wirelessly through Bluetooth to your phone where you can use the MySports app uh, to see your stats uh, and, and uh, keep a glance of your fitness level over time. And one thing I noticed as well on the interface you're using um, images to describe swim, bike, run. Yes, yeah. Um, so one of the things we, we really try to do with all the products we build is simplicity. So the root exploration we kept it really simple but also the whole interface needs to be as simple as possible. We want people to pick up a watch and even if they've never used a TomTom -tom watch before they should be able to just grab it, put it on the wrist and start the first run without having any issues. Uh, so it's simple, it's graphical, it's fun to use, it's got one button to navigate through the menu, it's simple, it's just left, right, up, down, you can't go wrong. And then once you're in your activity, what you see is these stats, what you can toggle through. You simply pause it. You can go back. You have a black uh, clock screen. Down you have all the settings. Up here you can connect with your headphones. So very simple, you just go right to start an activity, left to see your daily stats, up to, uh, to listen to music, and down to get into settings. Very simple, very straightforward.